So you're excited about fusion. You're excited about tracking. You know a little bit about the planar tracker. So you start tracking stuff and then this happens. Got your footage in a tracker. You want to track this little sticker on the back of the laptop or replace it with a sticker that you like. Made sure to set your settings right. You tracked it. The track seems to have worked well. You hit create planar transform. You got your planar transform node here. You got a sticker that you want to put on the back of the laptop. By the way, this sticker is for the Dream Crusher podcast. It's the podcast I'm doing when I interview creative people about the creative life. It's inspiring. It's fun. You'll love it. Available on all the major podcasting platforms. You merge it over your footage. You got a transform node. You put it right where it's supposed to go and you go, sweet, things are great. I'll take this planar transform. I'm gonna hold shift and put this in between my transform node and my merge. Oh, it moved it around a little bit. That's okay, I'll just move it back. And everything should be great because I'm running this through my track, should stick on the back of this. No problem, no problem. Okay, looks all right, looks okay. And then wait a minute, it's like moving around like crazy. It's like, it, it's, it almost works, but it not quite. Like, look, it's like slipping and stuff there. What's, what's that about? Why is that? So you go back to your track and make sure it's okay. And restart to resolve, make sure that's okay. You go out and have a cup of coffee, make sure you're okay. Here's the actual problem. Transforms and tracking and everything in Fusion is a little bit picky about the resolution that you're using. So if we zoom out here and we look here in the upper right, we can see that this is a 1920 by 1080 image. That's our background, our original footage. And what we're doing is we're putting this still over it. And the still is, guess what? 1920 by 1920. It's a square aspect ratio and it's a different resolution. And so what happens is when we transform this down and then put this through a planar transform, the planar transform is using the same data from this 1920 by 1080 image that we tracked and it's applying that data to a square image, which long story short, messes things up and we get this weirdness. So how do we fix that? We have to mount this image on a background of some kind that is the same resolution as our source footage. So there's a few different ways you could do that. One way is you could take a background and you could merge your original footage over your background, like this, and then take the merge down like that, and then take this background and turn the alpha all the way down. And that would work. You just have to take your transform, move this around like that. And guess what? It's gonna stick perfectly. Looks beautiful, okay? That's great. The other way you could do that, you could also put this merge in this background down here in between your transforms if you want to. It's generally not a good idea to put something in between two transforms. You want your transforms to be next to each other. So I'd probably do this up here like this. And that would work fine. Hey, if you like problem solving in Fusion, well, guess what? We have the course for you. Pro Compositing and VFX in Fusion. It's a complete course on making movie magic inside of Fusion. And it has two flavors, basics and advanced. So it's going to be useful no matter what your skill set is with Fusion. Make sure to check that out right there. There's a link in the description. You know how it is. Okay, let's get back to it. The other thing we can do is crop it. And we could do this in between the transforms, which again, eh, might not want to do that, but it's probably not going to matter a whole lot for this one. What happens is sometimes if you put something in between two transforms, it makes the image blurry. This image we're scaling down so much, it's probably not going to matter. But either way, I could put a crop here 1920 by 1080 like this. I can just reset our transform here and I can adjust our transform to kind of be within that 1920 by 1080 crop which may or may not work depending on what you're doing. In this case, it would work. And so you could do it that way too. Basically, as long as you're giving this planar transform the same resolution as you tracked, it's going to work. If you're giving it a different resolution, it's gonna mess it up. Probably the easiest way to go about this is just to merge this over a background first and turn that background all the way down. So now anytime we bring this up, we're gonna have a 1920 by 1080 image all the way through. And that's what we're giving our planar transform. So now we can take our transform, move this down where it's supposed to be. And look at that. Everything's hunky dory. So there you go. There's the tip. Make sure whatever image you are putting over and kind of running through that tracker is the same image size as the footage that you tracked. If you don't do that, you'll get in trouble. And you know what else? If you haven't subscribed to this channel, you're watching this, you enjoy it, but you haven't subscribed, you were also in trouble.